Hi there. I noticed you're uh, looking at my projector. She's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, she's a beauty. Dr. James M. Nuclear here, Premier Research Scientist for Wilgon IRN Software, where the future is only two days away. Two. Two. And today, we're going to talk about Smoothboard 2 and how to set it up. We have everything available and everything ready to show you. Right there is a VGA projector. As you can see, it's throwing its image on the wall there, where I normally present from. And what's controlling the image? Well, this nice Acer Aspire laptop. Now, I don't really have any association with these brand names. They're just things I found on the market for good prices and they work well. And my laptop here needs a way to connect to the Wemo controls. The Wemo controls have built-in Bluetooth communication. And as soon as you hit these two buttons like this, it starts to flash right here and it will start to try to connect to the computer. How is it able to do that? Well, some laptops have built-in Bluetooth, but other computers and laptops need to have a little add-on device, and I do mean little, called a Bluetooth dongle. This Bluetooth dongle I got from IO Gear. It's very tiny. It doesn't stick out very far from the computer, which is nice, because when you're putting it in your laptop bag and you just put it right in, you don't have to worry about it being busted off like you do have to worry about like a data key. As you can see, this one would hit the side of the laptop bag and bam, get busted right off. But the Bluetooth dongle would be fine. So that's a nice feature, huh? Now, let me show you how to start the Smoothboard 2 software. This software is the brains of the operation, really. It's capable of actually automatically detecting the Bluetooth connections and the Wii remotes. Yeah, I started here. I'm actually already trying to detect the Wii remotes. So I press the one and two buttons on both Wii remotes and they start flashing their blue lights like this. And then if we can get in real close, you can see that there's a list of serial numbers. Now each of those serial numbers relates to a different Wemo control. If you can't quite get in that far with this camera, I understand. But trust me, there's a list of numbers there, and those numbers tell you which Wemotes you're actually connecting to. Every Wemote has its own unique serial number. This can be very beneficial if you're in an environment where a lot of your neighbors, whether other teachers or neighbors, have Wii remotes as well. And they might be in discovery mode at the same time. So it takes a little while for them to connect. You can speed up the process by going over here to click on installing device driver so software. And then you click on this thing that says skip updating driver software from Windows Update. For some reason, it always wants to get the latest version of Bluetooth every time you try to do this. But now that I've skipped that step, we should connect a little bit more smoothly to Smooth Boy. <laughs> get it? <laughs> smoothly to Smooth Boy? <laughs> yeah? I'm a comic genius, no doubt about it. Okay, so once the software is started, we have at the very top two battery level indicators for the Wemo. The one on the left is what's known as your whiteboard Wemo. That's the one that uh, stays in one place and actually controls the whiteboard software. The other one is called the presenter Wemo. This is the one that you can carry around with you and hold in your hand. And that makes it easy to do right clicks or left clicks just from a touch of a button. You could also do document forward, document back, 
put your, when you're in PowerPoint, you can go slide forward, slide back. It works just like those little presenter mouses, but it's actually a bit cheaper. So, if we look at the control panel here, it says we're in whiteboard and presenter mode, my favorite mode. You can also sometimes use two emotes together, all, both of them doing whiteboard, and that gives you a little better resolution. But I like to have it present myself. So, next step is to calibrate your whiteboard. You can do that in one of two ways. You can press an A button on the Wiimote, like I just did, and bring it up, and I'll skip out of that just so you can show you the other way. Or you can click on the screen button here, it says Quick Calibration, and bang, the same thing happens. Now it's time to position the Wiimote. Now this is very critical. As John H. Lee said in his original video, the Wii Remote Control has a 45 degree angle approximately that it can see. And you want to cover your entire screen area inside of that 45 degrees. Like pretend I was the screen. You, don't, you, you want to cover the whole thing, like, like back down this far. You don't want to be like up here so that your, your screen doesn't fit inside of the 45 degrees, right? Got it? Okay. So, what I like to do is just take my Wii Remote Control and place it on top of, now follow me here, put it on top of my projector. And if you've got a, a setup, you pretty much only have to do this once. If you're going to hang everything from the roof of a classroom, then you pretty much you get it positioned once and you lock it down with screws and brackets and it pretty much stays there. But I like to be fluid. And I like to put it right on top of the, the projector myself because that way, when I have a shadow, if you can see that shadow up there on the screen, when I'm making a shadow in the lens of the projection, I know that I'm also probably blocking the view of the Wemo. So what I want to do is keep the tip of my IR pen out of my shadow, and then I'm usually good and ready to go, okay? So, we're going to try to calibrate now. Smoothboard is putting up a target for me up there in the upper left hand corner. And I want to take my IR pen and put it right in the very center of that target and click my button once. And that will register that corner of my screen. Then I'm coming over to this side and I click again right inside the target. So far so good. Sometimes I have not positioned right correctly and I might miss one of these targets. I might click and nothing will happen. That'll mean that I gotta try to position my Wii Remote more correctly, but Dr. Nuclear is a pro at this. Done it many times, folks. I pretty much always hit my marks now. But just for you folks at home, <clears throat> you wanna keep trying to get the position of the Wii Remote just right so that you get as much white space in this area here. This shows you exactly what the Wii Remote found to be your screen area. This little irregular trapezoid right there. So it'll also tell you how much of your screen area or pixels in the camera you're using. I got 54%, which is quite good and usable. You might be getting a little higher if you get a little closer, but we'll see. This, this works really, really well. Um, now I'm set up. I'm ready to go. Watch. I can just go over here, put on a white screen, and select a pen and I'm ready to draw, and I'm ready to work. I can use it as a mouse pointer, or I can use it as an actual pen. If I am, want to erase, I just double click the eraser over here in Smoothboard 2. In the old Smoothboard, you'd hit that once. Now you just hit it twice to erase everything. And you have many, many new great little options and features. Let me try to go through them for you. 